Paradise Killer. Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton, husky voiced by physical damage, and it is time for episode 44 of my Let's Play of Paradise Killer. And uh, today, in today's episode, we are going to be uh, wandering around looking at things and also accusing people of various things. I think that we'll head to Carmelina last of all, because we have the most evidence against her, but we have a few other people we want to check in with first. Sam Daybreak. Probably we should have a chat with her as well, up there, Grace Bloodlines. I think the Doctor... To be honest, I should probably check with most of these people. I think a couple of them might still have friendship talks. Um, but yeah, on our, on our way to go talk to Sam Daybreak, I want to ramble a little bit because I've managed to figure out in my mind what the problems I was having with the shocking twist a couple of episodes ago uh, were. The uh, stunning revela revelation that Carmelina had in fact raised a child in a small box with uh, nothing but a pile of knives to sleep upon and then unleashed it as a weapon. So this was presented as a, a shocking, stunning twist, this unbelievable turnaround that a baby with architecture power, I say baby, he's like 25, but you know what? He has the emotional maturity of a baby because he was kept in a box for 25 years. But yeah, so he has architecture powers, and I quote, which allow him and his mother to tear walls apart in a sort of uh, magical sense and get from place to place. Um, and this is how... <laughs> This is, this is how murder was done. This is how there was a blood trail at the murder scene that went into a wall and disappeared. So, hiding, info, hiding information from the audience is generally held to be a kind of a hack technique in mystery writing, generally. It's kind of, kind of the hallmark of bad mystery writing. And um, the way it goes is to have Effective, I mean, the way it usually goes, that's not what, how it works here, but the way it usually goes is that you have the detective say, in that previous scene, I saw something that nobody else, including the reader, who has my perspective in all other matters, got to see. And therefore that information allows me to um, solve the mystery now. But um, that's kind of bullshit and nonsense. It's just adding stuff that you couldn't possibly have known. In a good mystery, you present the info to the reader, but you hide it or occlude it in some way that allows you to um, allows it to be genuinely surprising. Because when the detective shares an intuitive leap they had about information that you had but did not have the intuitive leap over, you think, "Oh wow, I'm a fool! I should have thought of that. That's amazing." Um, but that information has to be there; otherwise, it's just it feels empty. It's it's an addition with no base. But the real thing that bothered me about it, the second problem I have with it, is that, well, my inclination is to say that it breaks the logic of the world. But the real problem is that the stakes of this world have never actually been established. What is and is not possible within this world, not only has it never been established, there's never been any consistency whatsoever. You know, you can throw in an astonishing twist that forces you to recontextualize everything you've learned about this world and question all of the underlying assumptions you made about what's happened so far. That That's something you can do. That's generally a pretty cool thing to do in a mystery. But there's no basis on which to know what is and is not possible in this world. There's no basis to know what is and is not strange or unexpected based on this world because this world is so vastly different from our own and therefore they have not laid the groundwork to make it work. I've been complaining all along that these characters kind of just sound and look and act, well not look, but they kind of sound and act just like um, real people from real modern actual earth, just transplanted into a fantasy world who, and occasionally making some kind of fantastical proclamation. Um, about something, you know, magical or impossible. You need to locate the impossibilities of this world in their dialogue. And through their dialogue, you need to help us learn what is and is not to be expected about this world. Um, and the failure to do that is why this does not land at all for me, or why it didn't land for me. Those crystals are tamed. 
You know, these people constantly talk about what is and is not possible, and the way they talk about what is and is not possible is highly reflective of what is and is not possible in reality. But every single one of these assholes is a blood sorcerer. I have talked to seven ghosts, if I remember correctly. My best friend's husband is a red skeleton, and no one, including him, really knows why. <laughs> A major character had her head swapped for that of a sexy goat at one point, and uh, that's just completely normal to her. That's understood as a part of this world. So architecture powers that allow you to bind tunnels between two points of space-time within the confines of this fictional reality, that makes perfect sense. That's not strange or a shocking revelation. It's completely in keeping with everything else that happens in this nonsense place. Therefore, it's completely absurd that this is shocking to anyone who lives here. And it's strange that it's not a possibility that that occurred to anyone who lives here. They're all very, very obsessed with what is and is not possible in this society, despite the fact that it takes 10 seconds to look at it and say, there's a logical flaw here. You know, just like nightmare computers are completely inviolable, you know, unless you have one specific person's ability to hack them, or indeed you steal the blood of anyone on the island. <sighs> it's this exact same sort of difficulty between the preconceived notions of the characters, which don't make sense based on the world that they're in, and the game designers attempting to tell the player certain things that are effectively the rules of the game we'll be playing by. Um, so yeah, I think that none of this works. I think this feels like a hack job through and through. I think that this feels very much like a, just a lack of a lack of perspective and a lack of the willingness to think through the implications of your fantasy world. Think about why it's the way it is. Why is it different from our world? What are the similarities? What are the differences? And most importantly, how have those differences changed the people here and the way they talk about their world and the expectations they have about that world? And wow, I'm running out of breath. Let's go talk to this guy. Break. You want to tell me what a lump of flesh cut from a god is doing in a security safe in your storeroom? What flesh? Sammy. I don't know what you're talking about, LD. Is someone trying to frame me? Did someone plant it there? Did you plant it there? Don't make this harder than it needs to be. I promise you, LD, I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe there is something we should talk about, LD. Something troubling. It, huh, that's weird. I think that's the first time we've had a probe not based on hanging out. Do you have something you want to tell the investigator? I'm sorry, I wasn't truthful. I was holding that flesh for someone. That isn't original, Sammy. The fuck does that mean? Why do you have god flesh? I was asked to store it for someone. It was Witness. Why did Witness ask you to store the flesh? He came to me and he said he needed it to be stored. He didn't tell me anything else. And you just accepted it without question? I didn't know what it was, did I? He just gave me a box and said it needs to be kept secret for the good of the Syndicate, wasn't it? Didn't it strike you as suspicious? Witness is an old friend. You'd do anything for old friends, wouldn't you? This is suspicious as hell, Sammy. It's the truth, isn't it? I have no idea. It'd be nice if I had some kind of uh, magical lie detector in this world where anything is possible and the rules make no sense. Fancy a drink? You know me. This is my other blend, LD. Vortex. I trust Nita's okay. This one has a punchier taste. That sure hits you. I don't serve this to many guests. They find it too much. It is harder to appreciate, but you understand, don't you, LD? Do you miss being an assassin? Death doesn't interest me anymore, LD. But it was your calling for so long. Being an assassin hurts too, <laughs> hurts too many people. Huh, really, you think? I have a new calling, a new craft, can't you see? Do you miss the Paradise Psycho Unit? Every day, being an investigator completes me. That's how I feel, LD. Serving the right drink can change a life. That's better than taking a life, isn't it? If someone didn't take a life, I wouldn't be here having this conversation. Huh, that's true, isn't it? I have enjoyed our conversations, LD. I hope the rest of your investigation proceeds smoothly. Is this our last chat? I am afraid I need to say goodbye to this bar one last time. So many memories. It's been a pleasure, Sam. Take care, won't you, LD? 
Always. Alright, yet another relationship maxed. May you always live in the shadow. May you reach the moon. So, I mean, it seems obvious that he's lying. Although, it, I suppose it is entirely possible that he simply was not involved. Um, and uh, the extent of the Daybreak's involvement was Lydia and not Sam Daybreak. But again, sounds like kind of a lie. Um, impossible to tell one way or the other, I guess. So, right, let's go uh, find someone else to chat with. The Doctor will do. Well, here we are. Time for a word. Did you give Sam blood? Yes, I do. He has a rare condition. You might have noticed he has no flesh and his skeleton is bright red. The council approved letting him have citizen blood that's let in the temple. He developed this condition a few sequences ago. I suspect his body is starting to give out. What does that mean? May the cosmos be a mystery. May you reach the moon. So I guess the implication there is that... Uh, I guess his condition is what they mean because the rest of them have been alive for thousands and thousands of years and their bodies don't seem to be giving out turning into skeletons or otherwise. Although we don't have... we aren't privy to their personal records so for all I know uh, they're turning into mush and goo inside. And the only difference for Sam Daybreak is that he went the other way. There was another thought that I had actually now that I, now that I think about it which was that... Um, Ice Kiwami and, uh, sorry, uh, misspoke. What I meant to say was that, um, I have a sneaking suspicion that the two people we see in our whiskey hallucinations whenever we find a secret bottle of whiskey, um, are LLD's husband and his new wife on the next island. Um, just the fact that they're a masculine and feminine figure and some of the stuff they've said and something Crimson said when she let us know about this uh, awkward eventuality with regards to LLD's inability to move on. But yeah, so I just think that's a neat little detail that that's probably what's going on there. Why we are privy to, to these asides and whether or not we should like consider them to be something that happens within the world or if they're just fun little asides for us as as as, as readers of this of this material. There does actually need to be a, a better word, I think. Um, there needs to be a word for person who is consuming a, a work of art that is a media form. You know, reading, watching, listening, depending on the different medium that you have. It doesn't quite work regardless of of what you have and consuming is awful. I hate I hate the I hate the dis discursive paradigm of calling everything content and calling every way that we engage with it consumption. It's like capitalism is even colonizing our language now. It's terrible. Though I suppose twas ever thus. Anyway, hi one last kiss. One last kiss. Got time to chat? I have all the time in the world until the island ends. Is the syndicate worth saving? That's for you to decide. For better or worse, the crime happened. The syndicate was on a straight path. Now the path branches. The truth you believe in will determine the fate of the syndicate. Which branch do you think we should take? Weed out the corruption. The syndicate is no place for paranoia and conspiracy. I mean, you're an island of immortal wizards uh, who kidnap and murder human beings in order to awaken dead gods. That sounds like the ideal place for paranoia and conspiracy. We have a holy cause. We have forgotten that. We are in a position to craft a perfect society. You said there was no such thing as perfection. So I did. The idea of perfection is intoxicating. We always let our guard down and start believing in it. We kidnap people from the real world and force them to worship our gods. They're pressed into service on the island, working in factories and farms before being killed in a mass slaughter ritual. It's hard to imagine much perfection coming from that. Perhaps we should wipe the slate clean. How do we do that? I have no idea, investigator. Kind of just laying on the anti-capitalist themes fairly heavily once again, but I'm fine with that. Although, may you always live in the shadow. And may you reach the moon. Although... 
I will say. Um, the conversation with with old blood skeleton semi DB has me thinking that there's definitely something a little bit curious. It's almost like oh, I think there's something up here that I missed previously. I've just I want to try and get it again. Let's see. Anyway, it feels a little bit like um. I heard the vending machine was the way to get up there, but it doesn't look like it. Anyway. Yeah, it felt kind of a little bit like, you know... He quit He quit his job that made him hurt too many people, because it made him hurt too many people, and so instead he... Uh, you know, came and joined a society whose entire basis is the extensive murder of people. It feels a little bit inconsistent there, bud. And then to be saying that to LLD who is the closest thing this world has to a cop, and ask her if she's ever, you know, felt maybe guilty about the way her job hurts people, and have her just be like, no, it's cool, I love investigating, it's neat. Um, I don't know, there's, there's something deeply questionable about drawing that parallel. Anyway, uh, right, let's have a quick look, see. I don't think I can find that thing. So, remaining to talk to, the only ones who have markers are Carmelina and Witness. A couple of other characters might still have um, friendship conversations to have. We've definitely finished Sam Daybreak, we finished the two on the island. Um, I think we finished Yuri? I think he might have been the first one we finished, and I believe we have finished the Doc as well. So it's definitely these two, possibly Crimson Acid, possibly Lydia, I'm not entirely sure. Anyway. We don't have a ton of time left, so I'm not going to go start talking to either of those two. I think I'm going to take a quick chat with, uh... Hmm, actually, now that I think about it... Oh look, there's an item up, up high that I didn't get previously. Let's try and grab that. Up there, on top of... Oh no, that's that's the Justice Building. The item that I am seeing is, in fact, my handgun, which I will pick up in order to dispense justice. As I am... Um, I suppose not, neither judge nor, nor jury, but definitely both investigator and executioner. I'm sneaking suspicion that I found this one before. I still have no clue as to whether there's a finite supply of blood crystals or if they or if they spawn randomly on the island. Hmm. Anyway, hey, fuck. Whoopsie daisy. Right. So I'm gonna go talk to Lydia just to make sure she doesn't have any any. Uh, Dialogue left. <laughs> Looks like we can still hang out, so there's clearly a few left. Let's go for a drive, LD. Think you could ever go back to the old life? You mean being an assassin? Are you asking because of the case? I have to know. Things changed while I was away. You shouldn't have to ask, LD. I told you, that life is long gone. What happened to us? You would never have asked that in the old days. The world turns, Lydia. Everyone's a suspect. Yeah, also, I mean, friendships tend to break down when you are locked inside a pretty snazzy, but still very, very isolated bachelor pad on top of a 2,000 foot pole. Whatever, we're done. Wait, really? It's kind of an odd end to this friendship. May your spectre gaze upon a star. May you reach the moon. I, in fact, I would. Uh, that's the most like an end to a friendship that we've had so far. It's, it's weird to see a relationship increased and then um, have a person just be like, actually, fuck you for asking me that. Whenever I'm never talking to you ever again. But that should be pretty much it. There's a couple items to grab over there, a couple of items over there. I don't see anything around in this entire housing zone, which is irritating because I'm sure that the uh, dominoes that the, the ghost fish asked for are in this zone somewhere. I just can't find the damn things. Maybe I should... maybe there's a clue I've missed. Maybe I should go talk to them again. So that will be the final... Uh, I was going to say person. Is a, is a ghost of a fish a person? Obviously it's, obviously it's extremely rude to imply that a ghost is not a person, and as I've established many times previously on this channel, we respect ghosts. Um, but a fish isn't a person, generally speaking. Unless I guess it can talk and reason. Which the ghost fish can. 
But could it talk and reason? I suppose you can reason without talking, but could it reason when it was a fish? Or is this a, a capacity it's gained um, in its uh, ostensible afterlife? Hey bud, what's up? I thirst for missing knowledge. Where did people play dominoes on this island? On the roof of one of the apartments. Some citizens evidently got together to play and look out at the sea. Oh, fuck off. Simple games allow players to come together and share time and experiences while mastering a competitive game. The world is a horrifying place, but spending time together keeps the cosmic horrors from the proverbial door. Humans are interesting. You wouldn't believe what people drop in pools of water. Here is your reward. I thirst for missing knowledge. What happened on Island Sequence 20? Wait. Oh, multiple questions. Apparently the mountain collapsed. How does a mountain collapse? They don't know. It was supposed to be a perfect island. They were all supposed to be perfect. How can the island's creators not know? There are many unknowable things out there. Sometimes we just have to accept them. What happens if you can't accept that? Attachment causes suffering. Letting things go eases that pain. Or you can conjure answers where there are none to give yourself comfort. Those, st those people start conspiracy theories and destroy their lives. I'm glad I'm not human. You should be. Here is your reward. I thirst for missing knowledge. What do you think of the music track Go Go Style? What does LLD think of it? It is a music track that makes me want to stare into the sun. The day starts with a warm sun enveloping our lives in hope before bleaching the world clean under its scorching gaze. The day ends with an orange goodbye. The sun must be revered. Yes, it is quite the music track. It's like... Uh, it's like in the middle of the tracks on this on, on the game's album, in my opinion. Um, I said ages ago that this game was more of a game, game was more of a mixtape than a than a game, um, and that's a little bit unfair. It is a cohesive whole experience, just an utterly badly written one. Um, but I don't think Go Go Style is 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 anywhere near the best best track on the album. Here is your reward. I thirst for missing knowledge. What does the zealous carving depict? I had no idea this was going to be like a recurring quest giver. It shows the birth of the Syndicate, the gods gorged on psychic energy from worship. Yes, they do have a taste for that. Where did you find this carving? On the beach near the Paradise Gates? Why is an important object like that treated like flotsam? It is a strange object that cannot be contained. It moves where it wants to. It travels between islands and chooses a new place to reside. Yeah, so why is it so weird that Carmelina can knock holes between locations and teleport? That sounds like an ideal life. Here is your reward. How long does this how long is this going to go? I thought this would be like a single exchange and then I could then I could stop recording. You have answered all of my questions. My knowledge is complete. You know that I'm investigating the crime to end all crimes, right? Don't you want to know who did it? Would it make any difference? You people in your little games. You think you're better than the real world. You scoff at the people you use. You people are worthless. I don't care about the people, only the culture they leave behind. I am a demon, living on as a ghost after I possessed a fish that died. I have a perspective you people could only wish for. Well, this has been a real delight. Please enjoy Oblivion and make the next island better. You know what? I will enjoy Oblivion. I actually downloaded it again last year for the first time in like half a decade at least. Had some fun running around in old Cyrodiil. It's still, you know, my opinion on my opinion on, on Oblivion is that it watered down the beautiful, delicious strangeness of Morrowind in exchange for a more generic fantasy landscape. Um, and it didn't advance its mechanics far enough in the way that uh, Skyrim did. Skyrim and Morrowind are both better games. Morrowind for being stranger and narratively fascinating and really, really well written. And Skyrim just for being a better designed video game. But there's something beautiful about its jankiness and strangeness, unintentional strangeness. It's, it's garbage crappiness, but in such a beautiful, experimental and ambitious way. Anyway, that's a total aside. Time to read this. Dimensional Breakdown. 
If you want to easily connect to other dimensions, the spaces under bridges are where dimensional walls are weakest. Try it some time, but watch out for knife crime. Blood crystal obtained. Three blood crystals. Obtained. Ancient battlefield. The site of a battle that tore apart the land. Hordes of demons descended from the skies. Battle makes countries weep. This one was no different. That's interesting. That's presumably a starlight skin that's a photo of the real world rather than uh, the Paradise Island sequence. Wait, what? Okay, this is the first time we've had one of these not related to drinking uh, secret booze. Do you think we drink too much? Of course. We might be syndicate, but we're still human. Why do we do this? We all have different ways of coping. We're all faced with tragedy every single day. I think we should stop. Are you happy about facing down the dread of being surrounded by unspeakably antique civilizations who all compete for the attention of idiot gods without a whiskey at the end of the day? Uh, hmm. That's an interesting question raised there that we've never considered before. Surrounded by antique civilizations. Is she talking about elsewhere in the cosmos or is she talking about Earth? There is a real sense at certain times in this game that the Paradise Island sequences are a strange little backwater that nobody in the real world respects or cares about that's pursuing its own strange cultic goals, thinking it is the entire world while it is merely the smallest corner. No. Well, there you go then. Relic obtained. Evening melancholy. A strong blended whiskey that conjures images of a time we think we experienced, but in fact never existed outside of a mass hallucination. Okay, so we did get our whiskey then. So, I i don't know that I ever found those dominoes. I think I just went to the location where the dominoes were and lamented that there wasn't an item to pick up. If I am not misremembering about that, then that is another irritatingly inconsistent design decision, uh, like so many others that I've talked about. But, as we survey the ruins of this once beautiful... Uh, extremely darkly underpinned world why don't you join me again next time thank you so much for watching next time we're going to go confront witness and then hopefully also carmelina and then after that at long last it may be time for the trial although i still don't know what the fuck is up with the stolen corpses that's probably going to be a real priority to find out thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this please like subscribe and share I also stream on Twitch, and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon, and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.